It helps with so many other ailments. So we are talking about the gym inversion table. Stay with us. We have Roger Teeter hanging upside down here. There he is already inverting. <laughs> and Anne, great to see you back. Now this is an awesome... There are copies out there. As we've become successful over our 20 years, there are copies. And in every copy, you, your legs can go out to the side quite easily, even when they're firmly clamped. Uh, it works like a seesaw or teeter-totter as you your body weight. But that's, uh, with inversion, that happens right here at the angle of the rear legs. I mean, you don't even have to go to full inversion. Here's where your discs get to zero pressure, according to the calculation of that study, and your body's going to lengthen. Yeah. If you're doing one-sided activities, it straightens out. One-sided, like golf, racquetball, curvature out. If you don't have enough curvature, it puts it in. It simply gives you the right curvature that we call good posture. That's what it does. It straightens you out to good posture. Right. And all of that without breaking a sweat. Yeah. Your heart's slowing down. And you the calculation of that study and your body's going to lengthen. Yeah. If you're doing one-sided activities, it straightens out. One-sided like golf, racquetball, curvature out. The calculation of that study and your body's going to lengthen. Yeah. If you're doing one-sided activities, it straightens out. One-sided like golf, racquetball, curvature out. I don't ever use it when I'm rolling out to work my abs. It depends on your strength per exercise, what you're doing. Okay. But my legs are stronger than my upper body, so I can easily go two or right. three cords. I am a little bit more petite right there, so I actually take this you flip it. and I flip it. Okay. And I sit on this. Now, what I'm sitting on, by the way, also, is a pad. And when I kneel on it, 